الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف خلق الله أجمعين نبينا محمد عليه أفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم Our topic today is about being obedient to parents Allah said in the Quran وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْهِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغُنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفٍّ وَلَا تَنْحَنْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا And your Lord has decreed that you do not worship any but him and be good to your parents if one or both of them are with you and attain old age do not say to them a word of disrespect, nor scold them and speak to them respectfully. وَاخْفِضْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الذُّلِّ مِنَ الرَّحْمَةِ وَقُلْ رَبِّ رَحْمِهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِ صَغِيرًا And lower on to them the ring of submission and humility to mercy and say, My Lord, have mercy on them as they brought me up when I was small. And Allah said in another ayah, وَاعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدِينِ إِحْسَانًا And worship Allah and associate nothing with him and the parents do good. Unfortunately, these days, lots of people disrespect their parents, mistreat them, and are rude to them. They sometimes forget who are the people that brought them up. And when their parents tell them something that they don't like, they back onto them. For example, Adam is reciting the Quran extremely loudly, and his parents say, Adam, please can you recite a little bit more softly, and do not recite so loud? Adam says to them, Astaghfirullah, do you have a problem with the book of Allah also? And he tells them a whole bunch of disrespectful things, which is not right. All what he has to do is, do what he told him to do. And when Prophet Ibrahim was calling his father that was an idol worshipper to worship Allah alone, and when his father rejected him, he did not use any harsh language. Instead, he said, سلام عليك سأستغفر لك ربي إنه كان بي حفيا Peace will be upon you I will ask forgiveness for you of my Lord Indeed he is ever gracious to me As you guys could see Prophet Ibrahim's father was a kafir But Prophet Ibrahim still spoke to him kindly And that's how everyone should speak to their parents Also if you disobey your parents your children will disobey you and then their children will disobey them at, until it turns into a cycle and Allah's Messenger وسلم, said two deeds that are quickly punished in this world is transgression and disrespect to parents if you obey your parents there is a very high chance of you entering Jannah and the longer your parents are alive you stand a higher chance of entering Jannah because your parents are two doors to Jannah which is mentioned in the following hadith the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said one who follows the orders of Allah with regards to obeying parents shall have two doors of paradise opened up for him and if there happens to be only one parent one door of paradise shall open up for him always remember to make dua for your parents making dua for one's parents is a profound act of love and respect in islam it is a way to seek allah's mercy and blessings for them whether they are alive or have passed away when a son of Adam dies, he can no longer benefit from his actions except in the following three ways a continuous act of charity, a useful contribution to knowledge, and a righteous child that makes dua for him. And in Islam, you have to love your mother three times more than your father. Um, 
أبوك قال ثم من قال ثم أبوك أما كنت الله مسنجر صلى الله عليه وسلم أزاد أو الله مسنجر Who is more entitled to be treated with the best companionship by me? The Prophet said, Your mother. The man said, Who is next? The Prophet وسلم, said, Your mother. The man said, Who is next? The Prophet وسلم, said, Your mother. The man asked, Who is next? The Prophet وسلم, said, Your father. You have to be aware of things that can hurt your parents as well. Because if your parents don't forgive you, Allah won't forgive you. So if you feel like back answering your parents, just remember that you might be taking the wrong path. And remember to take good care of your girl to Jannah. رَبِّ رَحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِي صَغِيرًا Oh Allah, have mercy upon my parents as they brought me up when I was small. رَبَّنَا غُفِرَ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيَّ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الْحِسَابَ Oh Allah, forgive me. And my parents and the believers on the day the account is established. وَأَخِذُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ